probably what they sent him in for, leaking fuel. And it's Chess Williams in the 46. Kyle Moore in the 29. Follows up down the inside. As Kyle Moore takes the lead away. We got three wide action going in one and two. And it doesn't work out again. Just like the Super Streets. The three wide through one and two does not work so favorably for the one and the uh, 35. <laughs> oh man, we got the rear bumper coming off of the one of Jeff Davis and the front bumper coming off of Adriana Dodge's car. As your top two get a comfortable cushion due to that mishap. So it looks like it's going to be relatively smooth sailing ahead for Kyle Moore and Chess Williams. And a piece of the bumper finally came off the one. It's debris on the front stretch now. The yellow is going to have to fly. A nice even restart for the top two. As the one is hanging tight, Jeff Davis up to the inside of Chess Williams trying to take over second as the halfway flags will fly this time. And Davis takes over second. Chess Williams back to third as they have a Little bit of a cushion on the rest of the field. The 53 is up to fourth now. Hunter Dodge. But the 53 is not being scored. He's in fourth. Evidently, his, oh, he's one lap down. That would explain it. So Hunter Dodge is one lap down, folks. And we've got contact for the lead going into one. Oh, Kyle Moore goes around. Oh, wow. Chess Williams into the concrete. And Hunter Dodge, nowhere to go. Slightly T-bones Kyle Moore. Doesn't look like too, too hard of a hit, but uh, the officials are quickly over there to the scene. Here to we go. On Kyle Moore. It is Jeff Davis and the 35 misses a shift. Adriana Dodge, tough break from the outside front row she loses a lot of ground as Jeff Davis pretty much has this one in the bag now with two to go this time around all right Adriana Davis around the outside of Logan Maddox she'll reclaim second but I think that's gonna do it as we've got one flag to go across the stripe this time And heat one for the Thunder Four Minis is going to be in the books. Jeff Davis in the one machine will pick it up. Adriana Davis, uh, Adriana Dodge, sorry about that, takes second. Logan Maddox with third. And Farrington all over that restart in the OX already gets a couple car length cushion on the rest of the pack. It's Atherton and Shane Weber now going at it for second and third. And that is the 84, Doug DeGroat. My bad. And we got one hard into the wall, the 42. Tough hit by Richard... Richard Austin. Wow. Another red flag Jack Farrington. He had a solid start for the initial start in the 0x. Let's see if he can do it again. 
And that little tiny CRX is hanging strong. Doug DeGroat on the outside, giving him a battle for the lead. Farrington has the edge into three, but Doug DeGroat is hanging close. Jeff Atherton gets a little sloppy in turn one and causes the uh, seven Shane Weber to lose some ground on the leaders as well, allowing the top two to run away. Bouncing off the chip there. Looks like the seven, or sounds like the 17 needs another gear. But Shane Weber cruises on by in the seven and he will quickly reel in your top two. Under a blanket now for the top three. Jeff Farrington, Doug DeGroat, Shane Weber. We've got a three car battle for the top spot coming around for the halfway marker. Close quarters into the first corner. Weber trying to pinch down DeGroat, keeping him down to the inside as much as possible. Unable to make something happen so far. The seven pulls back in single file behind the top two now. Farrington continues to lead it with three to go this time. And a lap car is gonna come into play here. He'll pull down to the inside, down the back stretch, and they go three wide for just a moment. The seven finds a little real estate to open up the inside line. Weber takes second away from DeGroat. A lap and a half to go as he works on the leader, Farrington. DeGroat not giving up just yet on the high side. One lap to go at the line. And where is DeGroat going? Way up in the marbles. He absolutely made a mess out of that corner and now it's between Farrington and Weber with one corner to go. Farrington looks like he's gonna hang on. <laughs> oh, just about three wide. Wow, Doug DeGroat had a pretty sloppy turn one and two but made it up in three and four. Time to turn him loose here for 25 laps. Pretty tame start for these guys. They've uh, able to make it through turn one and two okay. Let's try three and four. Jeff. <laughs> I see everybody's got their bumper covers back on to, uh, from that heat race. And they're running one and two. It was Jeff Davis and Adriana Dodge that got into it in the heat race, tearing each other's bumper covers off. They are running one and two right now with Kyle Moore. Again, Kyle Moore, glad to see him back. He got T-boned in that heat race, running third. Got to watch Weber and DeGroat work their way up from the back of the field. Another one of the division top drivers not here tonight, Michael Golding. Here comes Doug DeGroat around the outside of Kyle Moore. He'll take over third rather quickly. And now work on Adriana Dodge. Kyle Moore, trouble on the 29. He is way off the pace on the backstretch. Oh man, the 29 was, uh, was third for a moment. Doug DeGroat quickly took that spot away. Then back to fourth and uh, it went downhill from there. Tough break for Kyle Moore on the 29, quickly falling to the rear. Doug DeGroat has already worked his way up into the second spot, but he's got nearly a straightaway to catch the one of Jeff Davis. 
The battle right now is for third between Jeff Farrington and Adriana Dodge. Farrington picking along the outside. Jeff Atherton following his every move around the outside of Dodge as well. Here comes the 17, Atherton's gonna get by Dodge to make up your top five. Jeff Davis, longtime competitor in many stocks and uh, dabbled in super streets for a little while as well. Actually ran uh, Neil Greenlee's Strictly Street a couple years back uh, about 10 years ago. Doug DeGroat just a little faster than the race leader, but a long way to go to get there. Half straight away separating the top three drivers. Assistant flagman Larry Arsenal working that passing flag. Doesn't mean they got to give up the spot willingly. They just got to keep a straight, uh, keep a consistent line, let the leader know where they're going to be so they can pick their way by cleanly. Doug DeGroat quite a bit faster than Davis. Four tenths of a second the last couple laps around as the 84 reels in your leader. Actually, either one of these guys up front, both Davis and DeGroat looking for their first career win here at Wiscasset. I know DeGroat's won so many stock races up at Oxford, but this has been on his bucket list to win a race here at Maine's fastest track. And Jeff Davis also looking for his first career win. They're only halfway. Contact for fourth and fifth. I, those guys are uh, they are teammates, right? They are teammates, yeah. Atherton and Weber, hard contact into one, but they keep it rolling. Atherton in the 17 almost collided with the wall. Nice save there. As we're just past halfway, DeGroat has reeled in Jeff Davis down to less than a car length. Jeff Farrington is catching up as well in the zero, but he'll likely run out of time without a caution. DeGroat's got a Fender up alongside as they go through turn two. They'll run three wide down the backstretch around the 34 car of Logan Maddox and resume their battle for the lead. Davis goes up wide to Grote down low. Doug DeGroat with a preferred lane and he takes the lead out of turn two. Jeff Farrington is certainly reeling them in. It's gonna be seven laps to go for the zero to try to catch up to your top two. DeGroat has the spot now with over a five car length advantage on Jeff Davis. Looking for his first feature win. Is that, that's at Wiscasset period, right? Yes. Doug, Doug DeGroat looking for his first feature ever at Wiscasset Speedway in the 84. Currently in route with five to go, this time across the line. Yeah, Davis fading back. He's gonna have to worry about protecting second as Jeff Farrington closing ground. Shane Weber, the point leader, has worked his way up into the fifth position.
three to go. It looks like DeGroat has this one in the bag, but it is still up for second with Jeff Davis and Jeff Farrington, the two Jeffs, closing up the battle for second and third out of four right now, two to go. Here we go, one to go for Doug DeGroat, looking for his first ever feature win at Wiscasset Speedway. Yeah, and he's got to carefully pick his way around this lap traffic, but he's got a big enough lead to make it work. Farrington going for second as they get to turn three. Trouble in turn, oh, there they go, they're scrambling in the turn. Davis threads the needle. DeGroat gets the win. A crazy turn of events in the final turns of this race. DeGroat solid with the win. Jeff Davis threads the needle and rescues a second place finish. Shane Weber sneaks in to grab third as Farrington wrestled that car out of the infield. All right, they're all down there. Let's head trackside one final time. Nick Hoff's got your top three. And again, as Ken said, four runner-up finishes and he finally gets it in the bag. Doug DeGroat, everybody, with his first Wiscasset feature win. Yeah, I think you guys are uh, talking about one of the same instances I wanted yeah, to mention. Car, like yeah, your other car, you guys had a big yeah, collision no, going just, into one. I was just barely trying to keep it clean, and he gets a little squirrely, so I, met, didn't, I was just making sure he didn't hit the wall when I went across the infield. I was well, just half the first one this night. But, no, I got lucky on the turn four, they a little scuffle, and Owex thinks I got something to do with it. He went by me all upset, so. He can even know what was going on. Did you no, see the zero on the infield and know that you had third? I kind of was thinking fourth place can be a great for the last race of the year, I not top three. So, no, then I got, I'm glad I still finished. I got to thank my Bob for helping me. My spring had jumped out of my strut and the heat, so I had to go down and get it put back in. So if I didn't have that, I probably wouldn't have been on the lead lap to have been where I was today. But like staying with it, he gained a little bit on me, but I gained on him. I stand even. All right, there he is, Shane Weber, everybody, third place. A great. All right, job. Jeff Davis. All right, hey, led the first half. Good race with Doug DeGroat. Tell me about it. Yeah, it was good. I saw him coming. Uh, we were coming up on the lap traffic there. I was trying to get on the outside. So he wouldn't pinch me off, but he managed to get underneath and slide up in front of me. And I just didn't have enough to catch back up to him. So. All right, cool. You got any sponsors on the number one machine? Uh, I got Holbrook Excavation. Uh, I think my wife, my kids, uh, Schooner Bay Taxi for uh, sponsoring the division. Uh, thank Mona Greenleaf and Penny Shrett and everybody else in the pit, David Greenleaf. And, and All right, congratulations, the number one, Jeff Doug Davis, with runner up honors. First ever feature win at Wiscasset Speedway. How happy are you? I'm glad to just finally get it done. We've been close. Uh, I got to thank Corey Bolia. He's been helping me, and I think more than anything, just the mental side of it, getting after it. I mean, that was just getting on the wheel and going for it. So, uh, Chuck's Auto Body. That's all we got for sponsors. <laughs> all right. You made an exciting show. I enjoyed every bit of it. Chuck's Auto Body, your only sponsor helping you this season? Yep. That's it. That's all we got. RPM from 10 years ago. We're going to have to shake some money out of him because we keep talking about him. So. <laughs> all right. There it is, everybody. Ken, are you going to send us home safely? Yes, I will. Thank you very much, Nick Hopp, for stepping in to, to Matt Shoes today. Uh, hopefully we'll be working with you again soon. Great job. Uh, I want to thank all you guys for joining us here tonight at Wiscasset Speedway.